All right, so I get asked this quite a bit and I've experienced it myself, but do you work out if you're injured? Typically, the no-brainer thought would be, well, no, you need to rest and recuperate and before you go back out there and make it worse, right? And there's some truth in that, but there's also another side of it. So yes, if you do get injured, first off, you need to, if it's a serious injury, you need to seek uh, medical help and go off your doctor's recommendations. If they do not recommend that you work it out, then listen to them. But if it's a minor, let's say a muscle pull or a tendon pull, something that you know is a little bit less serious, you know, how do you know whether to work out or not? Well, I'm going to use myself as an example. I have a tendon in my elbow that likes to pull. Um, I, for whatever reason, it's a it's a repeat. Um, it's not really an injury, but it's a repeat problem that I have from time to time. And if I allowed it to keep me out of the gym, well, I'd spend a lot of time outside of the gym. And so I work out through it. Now, I'm not saying that's what you should necessarily do. There's a lot of elements that play into it. First off, you don't want to do an exercise that causes more pain to the area. So whatever you have injured, you know, you don't want to go and then do an exercise that while you're doing that exercise, it's killing you to do because that's putting that certain muscle or tendon or whatever the injured area is under a lot of stress that it doesn't need to be under. And yes, you could possibly make it much worse. So you do not want to do that. Now, that being said, know your limits. You know, if you're just, if you're new to all this and it's your first injury, then you definitely want to take it slow. The reason being is you don't really know how your body responds to injuries yet. You don't know kind of the ins and outs of it. And you want to take baby steps, um, go slow, work out other muscle groups. I don't recommend just quitting the gym altogether because then you're going to get out of the habit routine. But there's lots of other things you can do. Even if you completely injure an arm, like break an arm, something that's really, really drastic, you know, you can still work out your lower body. Like don't view an injury as this thing where as you know, now I can't go to the gym because yeah, you still can. You just might look a little differently. So I want to encourage you, you know, if you are struggling with an injury, A, to continue going to the gym. All right. So there's that side to where you don't want to overexert that injury. So pay attention to how you feel during exercises. If, it, Like I said, if there's an exercise that causes you sharp pain or anything, stop immediately. You don't want to do that. Now, if there's an exercise that you feel some discomfort, discomfort is different than pain. Um, what I recommend doing is sometimes... Again, it's a trial and error thing. Sometimes it's okay to work through that, but go safely and drop the weight down. Don't be trying to kill it on your exercise with a crap ton of weight if you're dealing with an injury. You know, uh, a, a big one for me is skull crushers. That tendon flares up in those. And so I've got to pay really close attention when I do those not to overexert it and injure it further. Uh, I drop the weight down and I do it carefully. And again, it's something that's reoccurring. I know how my body responds to things. And so it's kind of one of those things where you trust yourself in it. You know, you know deep down like whether, hey, you know what, this doesn't feel right and you need to stop or it's just a little discomfort and I can kind of work through this. So I hope this helps with just kind of understanding whether you should work out or not work out when you're dealing with something that's painful or with an injury. Uh, I would love if you hit that subscribe button below. That way you don't miss any future videos. Have a great day.